All right, let's look at crude. There's only two. Well, let's remember we played these videos at daytradingthefutures.com. We put them on there for you for education. So if you need educated on how to do this, um, make sure you replay this video at, the, at um, on those. We have a really good video how to trade the system that's on there. I really got a lot of traders that enjoy watching that to understand how to trade. All right, the market can only do two things. Okay. We're either going to trend or chop, and it doesn't matter what you look at. I don't care if you trade futures, stocks, currency, like I said, Forex. really doesn't matter what you trade. You know, any futures, any stocks, any currency, it works the same way. But the market's very orderly, and we can only do two things. We can trend or we can chop. That's it. And that's any given market on any given day. And we're an electronically traded market, so that's just how it is. You have to identify what the trend, if it's trend or chop, though, because you're 50% there already if you identify trend versus chop. The best way to do it is look at your market profile chart. We have a trend filter built into the market profile chart already, and that is this magenta MA, moving average. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance. We don't use them for crossovers. We use them for full retracements and trend direction. So we know that we're in a trend directed a trend directed trade right here. If it's angled down, we're in a downtrend. If it's angled up, like this, if it's angled up, I want to buy retracements with market profile. If it's angled down, I want to sell retracements and sell arrows with market profile. That is trend. You can take arrows with trend. We just had one here on a corrective wave right out the arrow caught the low. And a beautiful trade to the upside. These arrows caught these on the arrow based system against these market profiles. This isn't a downtrend. Arrow caught that one. 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 Arrow caught this corrective wave up. So trend must be established, either trend versus chop. That's the first thing you do when you first log in to the system. You have to identify trend versus chop. You got to do that. If you're trend, if you're trending down, take the arrow cells on full retracements. And I did videos on how to take those on the last videos. You got to take cell retracements. Now there's two market profiles on here that are the most important. The thin red line up here, thin red line and the thin green line is developing profile. That's one of my most important profiles on here. My second profile is this thick red, thick blue, thick green line. That's actually volume coming in the market from all the hedge funds, prop firms, banks, professional amateur traders. It's producing these support and resistance levels from volume. Those are your two most important that you want to see marry up with the arrows when they fire. Let me show you. With trend, I'm going to get chopped by the way. With trend, you got two wave patterns. You have a motive wave and a corrective wave. This is all you got to know. So I know with trend, if it's angled down, I'm selling arrows only. I'm selling market profile only because I'm angled down. So what I want to do is you can see my developing profile butted up against my high value area here and here, develop, butted up against my green developing profile and HVA here, butted up against my developing green control point, broke retest, volume profile right here, had two times confluence, volume profile and developing profile. So that's motive waves. Motive waves is with trend direction. You want to take arrows that butt up against these two profiles, the volume and the development. The price is not as important as these dots, red dots and green dots. When they, when they overlap, such as volume profile here, you can use them for confluence. But the two profiles you want to see the arrows marry up with are going to be volume and developing. All these trades. This called the high, this called the high, this called the high developing profile, developing, developing, volume, developing and volume. Then that's called motive waves. That's with trend. We're angled down. We want to sell arrows and sell break retest market profile. So when these market profiles mire up with the arrows, that's your best case scenario to get in the trade right there. Very simple. The market's not hard to understand. It's trend for, or chop. It does that. It's going to do that every day. It's either going to trend or chop not hard to understand that. So if I'm trend, if I'm angled down, I only be a sell, sell arrows or, or I want, just want to sell retracement up against profile. The other 
wave a trend market has is corrective. A corrective wave is a counter trend trade. You cannot take a counter trend trade unless you get back inside of profile. Once our developing profile, the thin red or the thin green. Once you get back inside of it, which we did, we got back inside of it. This is called a corrective wave. Your counter trend trade is going to be around 80, 85 percent. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 85 to 85 percent are going to be motive waves. 15 to 20 percent of your trades are going to be counter trend trades. You can only take a counter trend trade against the overall angle of the MA trend filter on the market profile if you get back inside of developing profile. Once we got back inside here developing profile, guess what we got? We got a what? We got a wave pattern. We got a wave pattern that brought us straight up. There it was. There was our wave pattern. We got back inside developing the first retracement arrow. That's at what you want to take right there because you got back inside of it. The other arrows bringing us down, here were sell arrows. All these sell arrows, look at this. These sell arrows all butted up against what? They all butted up against our market profiles. So those are valid trades. And we know in a 3SIM, you love full retracements. So this full retracement and this full retracement, you got to take those trades when you see them. This retracement here, when it's against the white MA, take the trade there. Take the trade here. We went over this yesterday, how to take the trades. These are all valid sell signals, right? Because you're butting up against profile two to continue the trade. Now, when we got, so those are motive waves, motive waves with arrows. We're taking them with overall trend direction. We got back inside a profile. So guess what we do? You take the corrective wave here, all the way up to high value area, which is a sell at high value. So we're actually now short. All right. Now, if you go and look at the, so that's trend. Trend has a motive and a corrective wave. Very simple to understand. The motive is with overall trend direction. The jet to angle down, that is a motive wave. So that's trend market or a corrective. With, you can only take a counter trend trade when you get back inside the developing or either one. That is trend, right? Motive wave, corrective wave. So remember that. If you're angled down, you only have two wave patterns, motive or corrective wave. Motive is with, five, with the overall uh, trend direction, but up against market profile, look for the arrows to fire on full retracements. Very easy to understand. Corrective wave, you can't take any counter trend trades unless you get back inside of development. Now, what happens if CHOP comes in? CHOP is like this in gold yesterday. It can be very, very, very profitable, CHOP markets. Do not take any arrows with CHOP markets. Zero. Do not take any motive. There are no motive or corrective waves on CHOP markets. So what I just showed you on all these retracements with motive and corrective, motive and corrective waves do not exist in CHOP. How do I identify a CHOP? This is gold yesterday. We cleaned house yesterday in gold. Just cleaned house. Look at the magenta MA, how it's flat, versus the day when gold is in trend. Look at the difference between trend, angle down in gold, crude this morning, and chop yesterday in gold. Now, in chop markets, we do not take any arrows at all until we get outside of the edges, meaning outside of HV and LVA. Now, let's take a look at it. In chop markets, what I want you to do is just trade off market profile and just trade off of the uh, market delta to pop you in. I want you to just buy and sell the edges. That's it. Buy and sell the edges until the market breaks outside of these profiles. You want to ignore the middle. This is how chop markets work. You want to ignore the blue line now. Do not trade the control point. You want to just trade the outer edges, the outer red, the outer green on chop markets. You want to avoid the middle. Do not trade the middle. Do not trade arrows to be fired, arrow here, arrow fire, ear, arrow fire here, arrow fire this way, arrow fire this way. Do not trade the wave patterns inside a chop. Wait till you get outside a chop, outside of HVA, break out, and then look for the first retracement and try to get an arrow breakout, which is called a range extension. So in chop markets, they're totally different because you don't even trade the arrows. You don't even want to touch, touch them. You want to sell the high and buy the low. Now look how my market profiles marry up here. This is how beautiful this is. 
Look up here. When I tell you my two most favorite profiles are my volume, which is HVA, that's what's called the high here on crude this morning, and my developing, which is called the high on crude here and here, and my developing down here, which is called the high on crude, high on crude, high on crude, high on crude. Look how it does in chop markets. Works the same way. Look in chop markets. Look how it's called the low. Look how my developing profile, my thin green line, and thin green line has called the low. See how it's called the low? See how it's called the high? See how it's called the high? Now, my price profile, which I said is not as important, the dots, the red dots and green dots, they're great for confluence. If they overlap, which this is a brick wall, look at the brick wall. All three profiles are overlapping within a few ticks. This right here is your best case scenario chop sell scenario. You can trade a limit order on that trade. Well, what does that mean? Take your lowest profile and your highest profile and divide by two when you take the highest and low, and that should be a, a sell limit order. It should reverse the market on you with a very small stop. So you can trade the outer edges in chop, but you can't trade the middle and you can't trade arrows. So let me review this before I shut this off. Very simple. You only have two different markets, two markets. The market, I'm sorry, the market can only do two things every single day on any given market. Don't make this hard on yourself. Very simple. Either I'm in a trend or I'm in a chop. If I'm in a trend, I got two way patterns. If I'm angled down, my magenta MA, that's the first thing I look at when I first log in. If I'm angled down, I'm selling retracements, sell arrows, sell up against either developing or price or, or, or volume profile. Break retest, break retest, break retest. Sell with the arrows, sell full retracements. If I get back inside of a developing, which is a thin green and red line, I can only take a counter trend trade when that happens. Look for a buy arrow. Bring me all the way back up. That's motive and corrective waves. So trend only has two wave patterns. It has motive and it has corrective. And it has what? Take the arrows. So trend, you can do all three. Right here. That's trend. That's how we trade trend, right there. Chops all by itself. Now with chop, we can only do what? We can trade off the outer edges. So HVA by LVA with market builder. That's all we can do. We can only sell the high and buy the low until it breaks out. You cannot take any arrows in a chop market. Can't do it. You don't know if it's going to go to the outer edge or not. So what we do is we buy the high, sell the high, and buy the low. You're going to see thousands of trades like this in chop markets. Look at the magenta MA. If it's flat across, sell the high, buy the low with market delta. Sell the high, buy the low. If it's a brick wall, put limit orders in. You're allowed to sell the high, buy the low. That's how it works, guys and gals. And that's just order flow. We are very lucky as traders that this is an electronically traded market because it leaves a footprint. It leaves a roadmap. It tells us exactly what to do every single day. But you must have a plan, and you must execute the plan. The plan says, I'm trend or I'm a chop. If I'm chop, avoid the arrows. Sell the high, buy the low, wait till it breaks out. When it breaks out, then get on the arrows outside of HV and LVA. Avoid the middle. If it's trend, trend down, break retest profile, look for the arrows to fire full retracement. Okay? Only take counter trend trades inside of developing.